Right, how are you all doing? I'm trying to try and uh, keep this as short as possible because I've been out with that big storm we had, whatever it was called. It was gusts of uh, over 100 miles an hour. I had to do some repair work to the shed roof. That got torn off. Um, and a couple of slates came out. We got off quite lightly though. But anyway, been too busy to get to the range. So playing golf tomorrow in the winter league as long as it doesn't snow and uh, got the rhythm stick here as you know these are quite easy to make they need to be quite as you can see quite maybe a wee bit of resistance in the weight but anyway um, the Varden grip okay so to make this clear um, this is your hands at your side there, see? And the Varden grip is this. Okay? That's why I'm talking about that. So when you do that, just do that and just hold it like that. And there is the Varden grip. And you'll find that your hand will move up and down in this position. It's very restrictive in this way. But you will be able to move, but it will be on the 45 degree angle. You'll see that there. I'm moving that and it's on the magic 45 degree angle. This is not uh, anything new, but this is pure Harry Varden. So then your lower hand goes in like that. And obviously when the two are on, the exact same thing happens. Now, this is you kind of locked in to this move here. But you've got to make sure that your hands are in to your body. So that's why we set up slightly closed. This means that you have this checkpoint here and your hands are in. Okay? You can see that, that the this shoulder is in on this one. Now, this is how this works because from here, you've got this lever here. But... When you take the club away and then you're dropping it here, dropping it here, dropping it here, there's no way to get to the ball till you do the little mini move. So unlike the uh, professional swings that you see on the uh, TV, your lower half is quieter, but you're still getting the same amount of downforce and rotation but you've got a narrower stance than what you see on the television it should be about shoulder width the reason for that is that if it's any wider you'll really take away your actual power and you'll have to move dramatically forward and slide a la what you saw Mo Norman do and it's another variable that really you want to take out of the Varden Triangle so you've got three points to triangle. The Varden triangle is genius because we all know about the railway line. So if the railway line for the flight line is here, railway line for the uh, feet are, is here. It's really a heel line. So the first triangle line for Varden is the, the, this line here, which is basically where you get to here. It's a square, but then the next triangle aligns here. And the next triangle aligns here. So you've got your centre point, which drops the club behind your heel stroke, middle ear, trail foot. Okay, so there's where the point of the triangle is. Now, using this grip here and closing yourself so that this is over your foot, so you're here. Right? And you'll see that I cannot, I can swing, but straight down, and I cannot, I'm not getting the ball, till I do the wee baby move here, which everybody does. And you cannot hold that off. Now remember, the golf swing is literally that, and it's gone. So all these slow-mos that you watch, and all these uh, pros that say, Ooh, we need to get you in this position, that position, <laughs> blur of positions. Forget all that. You've got one checkpoint. 
you set up on the railway line with your heels, you look where you're going, you slightly turn into a close position with the var and grip on the club, and you check that this club here is dropping here, dropping here, dropping here. Then you look, then all you do, you stay in this position and you move the club back to the ball. There's the ball there. And then just swing up, swing it down and baby move it through. That all happens like that. There's no, like what I just showed you there, stop, pause, go, all that type of thing. No, absolutely, it's just bang and it's away. And you'll find that the ball goes miles, right? Don't be scared about this because the first few times you try it and you take it out to the course, you'll be 20, 30 yards over the back of greens. Especially with your short clubs because you're actually employing the lever, right? And you're then getting your body, lower half and top half, timing into the ball and your hands ahead. It's actually pretty effortless, especially for those of you who are a wee bit less mobile in the hips, maybe a wee bit older, hips are a wee bit sore, maybe your knees are a wee bit sore, and your back, because you've preset the turn, there's no strain on your back. It's just an up and down drop. And then your baby move through. This baby move is the easiest part. You can try to demo this at the range. That's just exactly what you do. Hands to there, hands to there. Hands to there, hands to there. Hands to there, hands to there. You're saying to yourself, how come, Mike, that's the easiest thing I've ever seen? Well, this is the part that we all muck up, including me, till I found this. From up here to here. From up here to here, well, we can all do from here to here. But when we go up here to here, it just goes into some sort of disaster zone, right? But using Harry Varden's triangle, you take away that and now the vertical drop, you own it. Try it for yourself. You will be absolutely amazed. I mean amazed. Stick it in the comments how it feels and uh, like and share if you can. Subscribe if you haven't. It's all for charity, this channel. All the ad revenue goes to Macmillan Cancer, Help the Heroes and Shelter UK. Well, hope you're all doing well and I hope, like me, you've managed to maybe tidy up the storm damage and hopefully it's not been too bad for you. See you next time.